Good morning, everyone. Oh, how are you doing? It's oh, 20 to 10 on a Saturday morning. Um, I've just finished a workout going to the gym. Um, got in there at 8 a.m. I think that's the earliest I've ever got into a gym. So, new start, new me, and uh, actually quite enjoyed it actually. So, um, I might consider um, going in first thing when um, my, yeah, my girlfriend, I dropped my girlfriend at work. Obviously, I'd like to have a job, so I don't need to be, um, you know, I won't be able to do it all the time, but just sort of dragging myself down here. I'm not, I'm not dragging myself down, I actually look forward to it, but I literally just, uh, my girlfriend's gone for a, um, a, bro, uh, a dress fitting. She's a maid of honour at one of her friend's weddings next year, so um, she's had to go. To, uh, to Luton, it's about 40, no, not 40 minutes, about 25 minutes away from the other train. Uh, not from here, sorry, from London, like into London. She has to go to King's Cross, so at least over an hour, I suppose. But I've just dropped off this morning, she had to get a train at uh, 7.53. So I thought whilst I'm doing that, I'll head um, straight into the uh, straight into the gym. Um, But yeah, um, sorry, just uh, from my um, yeah, I said I'd uh, go into the gym, so um, I thought I'd, sorry, I thought I'd consider going to the gym being that early, so that's what I've done, um, and it's quite good actually. It's literally just rolled myself out of bed, threw on some clothes, and drove down there. So I'm in need of a shower, dialy, dialy. Um I smell rank, um, horrible. So I need to have a shower. Um, but really pleased. Just did uh, eleven and a half. Kilometers on the uh, cross trainer, uh, five sorry uh, on the bike, five and a half on the K on the uh, cross trainer. I just did a quick one K on the treadmill. I need to beef up my treadmill train. I'm finding it hard running at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's because it's boring or it's a mental block because I put a lot of weight. Um, and I know obviously bringing the weight down will help because it's obviously putting me down like an anchor when I try to run. So, um, but being I'm starting marathon training next week, I can't see myself sticking to the plan as rigidly as I want to because I think I'll have to walk on some things as well. So, but I'll be getting fit regardless, and it'll bring my weight down, and I will beat my uh, previous marathon time, the five hours definitely. Um, I talk so I said I said in another video, but I'll talk a bit more about um, the marathon stuff, the marathons. I'm doing two um, another time. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, sort of brief update to show you that I am active because obviously I, you know you've seen one of my previous videos. I do insanity and stuff, but the plan for next week is to start insanity again, fresh, and also do my marathon training. There might be like a bit of overkill. That might be. I'm just going to play it by ear and see. I think I'm capable of doing it, and I need to do something drastic to shift this weight. Um, I don't want to sort of have weight up until um, yeah May, June to sort of shift the stone or something. I'd rather be sort of stone lighter by the end of sort of this month. And then uh, I think when I, when I ran a marathon in 2010, the London Marathon, I was about, I must have been about, maybe, uh, I reckon, in theory, I've never used to keep track of my weight. I think I always remember weighing myself sort of two years ago, uh, sort of 2010, uh, when I left my job, around Feb January, February, and I was 17 stone two, according to their scales. But the scales were manual, I'm, I'm weighing myself on digital scales at the moment, so... Um, they might have been wrong because I went away myself on my my, uh, my dad's uh, manual scales. They had me down at seventeen stone uh, ten, which might be my true weight. I don't know, but I'm keeping it at eighteen stone twelve because you know I think I am. I feel a lot more lethargic than I used to, so I'm going with that. And if I, if the weight comes down, the weight doesn't come down for ages, and I'm getting slimmer. Then I know that the uh, <laughs> the electronic scales are, are playing up playing up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so. Good start to the morning. I'm gonna go home and have a big breakfast. Um, that's an important meal of the day, so I'm gonna have a big one. Um, all healthy, of course. I'm not gonna have nothing unhealthy. Um, pretty simple. Just have to make myself an omelette, I think. Egg white omelette, and uh, might have some cut a slice of toast with peanut butter. Mm. Um, I'm burning the calories off. So again, like I said, with my diet, I'm writing things down now. So I'm, I am keeping a journal. It's also the first week of me keeping a diary ever. I said in my previous video, so I'm quite happy with that. And if I don't put, if, if the weight doesn't come off, I'll just review it and look where I'm going wrong. Um, I know obviously I can pretty work on stuff, and uh, I will have to at some point. But um, I'm just going to play it by ear and see um, and see what's working. Um, I'm gradually just trying to wean myself off the fatty food. I, I never used to eat really, really fatty food. I mean, it's just hard going into a weight loss program straight after Christmas because that's why a lot of people fail. I think they try and cut everything out straight away. And um, if you've got the discipline and the willpower, that's fine, but not many people have the willpower. So if you gradually try and wean yourself off it, just make some healthy choices, which is what I've tried to do. I mean, I never used to, I never used to make really fatty, but Christmas time, obviously, I was just binging like a good night, everyone does with Christmas. 
um, sweets and all sorts of stuff. So, um, you know, it's um, it's manageable. Um, but before Christmas, I'm, you know, me and my girlfriend kind of had a healthy sort of... I say healthy dinner. I can't, can't actually kind of lie in that respect because we did kind of get takeaways and stuff. We got a bit lazy at times. But there's other days where we did eat healthy. But it was just the activity level. I wasn't doing nothing really activity-wise. Um so again, so I was doing insanity, but again, it was very sporadic. So anyway, but what I'm trying to say, I wasn't there wasn't a plan in mind. I wasn't committed to it, so I didn't have a plan. So you know, they say fail to plan, plan to fail, didn't they? So and I didn't have a plan. So I was just going in there with you. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave now. This car park and the gym's getting very very busy. Um, I don't even see that out there, but the cars. The windows are steaming up a little bit, but the cars here, when I came in here before, there was no one here. I was like the fourth person here. But the actual um, uh, car park here, this is like the main gym car park. You can park in here for like three hours, and they've got a supermarket just next door to the gym where you can you pay for park for an hour and a half. And normally that's fine for us because you get free of charge, because this one's never free. It's always people, and the thing is, they're supposed to be clamping down on people double parking, but people aren't stopping double parking. They're, they're parking uh, here, there, and everywhere. There's a couple of people just come in. I really should leave, actually. I'm a bit selfish, but... Um, and they're looking at other cars now. Well, they're supposed to be clamping down. They've got all these bays marked down. People are just parking outside the bays because, you know, they want to park here for three hours and don't wanna, they don't want to, you know, hour and a half workout. If I need to have an hour and a half workout, I'd have an hour and a half workout, you know, so... Anyway, right, cool. I'm going to go get some breakfast on and then I'll um, I'll speak to you guys at some point next week. Um, it's weighing on Monday. Hopefully I want to shift some pounds by then. Uh, I'm just going to wait for these people to go because it probably looks really selfish of me if I start to drive off now they've actually uh, parked up in an awkward spot um, yeah and I'll do a weigh-in on Monday uh, me and my girlfriend are both weighing in uh, obviously I won't tell you her weight because you'll kill me um, but I'll um, I'll let you know how, how I go um, 18 stone 12 I was or 18 stone 11.6 pounds but I'm not doing that point thing I'm doing it I'm rounding it off uh, you know, I don't believe in little points and stuff Yeah, I want, I want to sort of try and get if I start getting picky, maybe I'll, if I start losing a lot of weight, I'll, I'll, I'll involve the points, but I'm just going to keep it rounded off. So I'll keep that. I'll call that 18 stone 12. I'm only 0.4 away from being 18 stone 12, so that's what I'll call it. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'm aiming for a 12, uh, 12 pound loss this month. So if I can make a significant dent in that, uh, maybe lose five or six pounds. Hopefully, I know it's a bit ambitious. Three pounds, four pounds, I'll accept, but if I can, then that'd be fine. I'd be very happy with that, but if I could make a bigger dent than that, obviously I know you've got to take your time, you can't grab things too much, uh, too soon, but if I can um, make a big dent in that, then I'll be happy. Anyway, I'm going to go, I've said about four times now, but I'm definitely going to go now, and I'll speak to you soon guys. Uh, take care, and uh, have a good uh, weekend, what are you doing? Bye.